you see and out of all the YouTube universe you decided to come in and chit chat with your girl and yes if you're new just want to say welcome and if you're an OG you're already family if this is your second time you're family oh and by the way if you hadn't hit that subscribe button what you're waiting on I can wait while I'm cleansing my skin I can wait did you hear it like I can't clean my face forever I would love for you to be a part of the Melissa Q family. Yes, I don't have on any makeup. And I hope that I didn't scare you to hit the subscribe button. So let's get straight into this video because it is a review. That's why I have nothing on my face and something is in my eye, but it's all good. Today we're going to be trying the Jane Iredale. This is the Pure and Simple Makeup Kit. Now I was sent this by Influencer and this it was sent to me free or complimentary um, for my review purposes and nothing else and so I'm gonna try this out it actually has a this is for medium dark skin well first of all let me tell you I don't know if I like the packaging this is kind of bulky but at the same time it looks like you can kind of depot this um, this is how it looks. It says it's for medium and dark, medium to dark skin. Jane Iredell is a brand that is known for its great ingredients, like, like very clean ingredients. And this is medium to dark. I hope they have a dark. Y'all know how I feel about that. So anyway, I'm going to try out what they gave me. And it says, this is the beauty with brilliance. We want you to be able to experience some of the best products in our line. That's why we put together the tasting menu for you. Dip in, play, experiment. There's nothing more fun than makeup, especially when you know it's good for your skin. I know you'll find the products beautiful. You may also count on us to give the highest quality and purest ingredients possible. So like I said, Jane Iredale is known for their really good ingredients. This brush, there's no way I'm going to use it. I really don't ever use these brushes, but is this two brushes? What? That's pretty cool. You saw that? It like flips out. But anyway, still not going to use it. But this comes with, I'll tell you what it comes with. It comes with the Pure Press Base Mineral Foundation. And it has SPF 20 in there. That's pretty cool because extra protection is always great. It comes with a pure press blush, pure press eyeshadows, and a lip and cheek stain. So that's how it looks. I love the fact that they also include the ingredients on here. And yeah, give some information about before swimming and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and prep our skin. I've already used my micellar water. That's what I do in the morning. I'm using my Shiseido cotton pads. These things are addictive. <sighs> yes. So I'm going to put some of my glow tonic on here. Just dab it. I hope this looks good because I have to film a haul, my summer haul, after this video. Moisturizer. Let's go in with our... Josie Marin Daily Moisturizer. This has SPF 47. Now, the makeup, the foundation already has coverage. But, I don't know. And especially in the summertime, I like for mine to have some coverage. I don't know about you. I like to have extra coverage. Giving myself a massage. I love it moisturizer because it gives me a glow at the same time. If I wanted to just go out with just concealer. Oh, and this says that this is a concealer too. So we're going to test that out. And it comes with two different shades. So we're going to see. Okay. Kind of nervous because let me prep my eye under eye. I'm going to use the pure hydrogel. Hydro Lift Gel, and I'm just going to go under. This is the product that I use when I don't have a lot of time and I need my products to absorb. 
but I'm gonna let that sit for a second and I'm gonna go on to my brows and do those and then we'll come back and use the palette. Dun, 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 dun. And our brows are done. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, y'all. Anybody to tell you they're not nervous, they lie. <laughs> Anybody tell you they ain't nervous when they try new makeup and they're not used to it? I don't want to say that they're lying. But she's so I'm going to use this Elizabeth Mott blending brush to put on my concealer and let's see how well it covers it up. So I'm going to go in to the lighter shade of this since they said it's concealer. This is, oh Lord, I'm scared. Last time I went in with a powder, it made me look old. So let's try like buffing it in, pressing it and buffing. What? I like this. Oh, oh. And it doesn't feel dry. Y'all, and we didn't even prime our face. Should I move forward? Should I prime? Is it a crime to prime? Not to prime? <laughs> oh Lord. Maybe that's a good thing. Let's not prime. Let's see how it works on its own. I won't prime my under eye. How about that? And I'll use. Cause we do want it to last. Let's, we, we shall prime. But I am very impressed with this powder because it is giving me an airbrush look. And it just wiped away. Like, I feel like this is not a bad shade for me either. I hope they have... Oh my goodness, I am very impressed. For my first time using a powder concealer like this. What? Okay, I like this. It just like totally blurred. This is without a primer, you guys. It totally blurred. Okay, let me go into my red areas with this. And I'm just using a blending brush. The reason why this is kind of like a dual fiber, by the way. Oh, wow. I like that I can get in my corner sometimes. Getting in that corner and really blurring it out. And y'all know I have dark circles. So this is a plus for me. I mean, it is bl literally blurring out. Okay. Girl, you got me. Ooh. Okay, concealer, you got me shook. You got me shook. Okay. That is awesome. Okay, so next we're going to go in and I'm going to use my Real Techniques. This is the Expert Face Brush. I like using products like this. We're going to go into this shade here. And I'm just going to press it on the brush and I do get some kick up but that's okay and the thing with mineral is that you want to press it into the skin and then buff so I'm going to press it let's do one side of the face just so we see we can tell the difference so I'm going to press it Definitely blurring. <laughs> I am super impressed. I did not expect this to do as well as it is. For what reason? I don't know. Because Jane Iredale is in. I've seen it in my Planet Beauty. I really haven't tried their products. 
I remember I tested like some type of discontinued powder that they had and I liked it. It was like some type of hydrating something. But if you can tell this side versus this side, of course it's taking out that glow, but it's giving me really nice coverage. I wonder if I can build up the coverage. Let's see. But I like the fact that it still looks skin-like. And it's very silky to touch. I'm press and buff. And I like it that it's not too dark. Like, it's covering me really good. Really well. Let's put some on my, like, Rudolph the Red Nose. This is a pretty nice shade match, too. And they sent this to me. Were you watching me, Jane? Okay, Jane, I feel. I'm really impressed. I am very impressed. Like, impressed to, like, I don't know how it's transposing on camera. But I'm even dragging it down my neck. But I I feel like me. Like this is skin but better but with a powder. Which I mean my Laura Geller I love. But this one gives me a different finish than the Laura Geller. I, like, I would like this better in the summer. The Laura Geller has a glow to it which I like. It has a radiance, which I didn't think I could get from a powder. I'm going to put some over my eyes before we do this eyeshadow. But I like this. Oh my, uh, I like this. Like, I think what impressed me the most so far is the concealer. Because it is really covering. Like, really covering. And it's not making my under eye look crepey. You know what I mean? And it looks like I can build the coverage. I'm going to get this corner because you know, sometimes the corner right there can be like a little red. But I am super impressed. I am. I am impressed. Okay, so let's go in with the cheek color. I would think that this is probably the cheek color. And then, yeah. Well, first of all, let me go in with a bronzer, okay? I'm going to use my Hoola right here that I'm panning in a project pan. I'm going to use my E3 brush. I'm just going to go in and bronze. Okay, Jane, you are like impressing me. This is kind of like my trick. I put on highlight first and then, no, I put on my bronzer, then my highlight, and then I sandwich the blush right in between. That way I know exactly where I want to put it. That's just a tip if you have issues with blush. I think sometimes blush can be an overwhelming makeup product. Put your bronzer on first. Then put your highlighter on and then put your blush because it'll let you know if you want a little bit more or if you don't want a lot. In this case, I don't want a lot because this is an everyday look. But I can tell you this. I don't have anything. I, th I don't think this color in terms of blush and I really do like it. It's like cool tone, but it's still at the same time neutral. That is pretty. And then if I want to go back in with my highlight, I can. But I don't think I am. But I am loving this blush. I like the blush. You're impressing me, Jane. Oh. Okay, so next, I'm going to go back into that bronzer because I don't see a transition shade. And I'm going to go in with Hula, the Hula bronzer. I'm going to use it as a transition shade. 
and then go in with the eyeshadow. I think that this is great for every day. And like someone that's like not used to makeup would like something like this, I think. Because I'm putting on makeup, but this is great, I would say, for the beginner. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this purple shade. I don't even know if it has, I don't know the color. I don't know the color. So I'm going to go in with that purple shade. I'm going to put it on my lid. It's a pretty color. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm just pressing it. No fix plus. That is really pretty. I kind of want to take the blush shade because there are no rules in makeup. <laughs> or you make your own rules in makeup. I'll say that. You can follow some guidelines. It's always good to have a guide. You know what I mean? Oh, that is so pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, I think I want to take a fluffy brush. And I want to go in with this blush and kind of use it as a transition shade, like, like just to deepen it up and blend. I'm using the blush now. Not buy it. Okay. And now I want to use that lighter shade right here. Let me show you. This shade right here. And I'm going to use my MAC. This is a MAC 228. I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to put this in my uh, inner corner. And on the brow bone a little bit. I like that. It ooh, that like really brightened up. Another thing I could have done is taken that concealer. And let's just soften that up a little bit. That is really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that small okay I'm gonna take this uh, purple shade and I'm gonna use it under the lash line just because I feel like I need something under there oh I almost forgot that they have this is supposed to be a lip lip and cheek stain Let's put it on without, ooh, that does not look like it has that much pigment. Okay, Jay. I like that. Ooh. Y'all, and that was like with no liner. I like how that, ooh. Okay. I'm digging you, Jay. Okay, that like, that is a good like everyday look. The what's impressing me the most is that I did not use not one cream or liquid concealer. Lord. Okay, let's set it because that's what I would do throughout the day anyway. Let's set this makeup. I'm going to use my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Ooh, pretty, mommy, pretty.
I like this. Okay. I like this a lot. Like this is something, you know how sometimes, well, sometimes we as bloggers, we review stuff and then we never pick it up again. This I will be picking up. I am so impressed. This is something that I definitely would even leave at my desk at work because of like how it look. I feel like it's fresh. It's great for every day. I can definitely take this night, uh, but uh, I'm so impressed. I am pr impressed. Jane, five stars for this. I am so impressed. Like this, aside from the, well, let me tell you. Okay, so I give the makeup five stars. I hope that this was, this is a pure simple sample kit. I think that it's, it's cardboard. Okay. Um, I would probably end up depotting this just because of how bulky it is. I hope this is not the packaging. I hope this is the way that it came to me. I would like this in a sleeker palette. Um, just so it is more, just so it's more appealing. I feel like this gives, it doesn't give like a sophisticated look. It just, to me, it's just bulky. That's basically what I can say. The brush, I don't need. I think, you know, save your money on, on utensils. But at the same time, I do know that some people love these sponge applicators and a little blush. And to me, that wasn't a quality brush to actually get a good, you know, some good coverage on the face. And I feel like it would have been hard to put that concealer on that way. So I feel like utensils, in terms of utensils and... The bulkiness I have to bring it down a star so I will bring I will let this be four stars but I am super impressed with the makeup which is the most important part of this and this might be because it's as a magnetic closure this might be the packaging I pray that it's not but I'm super impressed with the makeup Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you like videos like this where I come on and give you my first impressions of products. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye loveys.